Okay, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our lesson four. Today lesson will go through LF4, understand the development of brain management strategies to meet the marketing objective. So that's we'll go through today lesson and uh, we already discussed about the aim of this unit. So first we have 4.1 justify a brain development strategies and brain management. So first of all, what is the management guys? Anyone know what is meant by management? Management is the process of designing, designing an environment to achieve pre-selected objectives. So that's the management. So objective, what sort of objective? Smart, so we said smart objective. What will be the smart specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound <clears throat> so objective can be enhance uh, enhance market shares uh, shareholder value uh, marketing objective can be customer awareness uh, it can be customer satisfaction, satisfaction level need to be increased. Uh, other marketing objective can be, which is per so eight in farm and remind. Okay, that can be an objective can be meeting the needs and wants of customer yes other can be objective marketing through can be lifetime loyalty so these in can be objective of marketing and the brain to be Okay, so what is the strategy? The strategy mean action plan. So we learn about Porter generic strategies. Anyone knows Porter generic strategies? Michael Porter, great scholar, he gave the generic strategies. What those are? So those are, we can look around and we can do research on it. <clears throat> so it can be cost leadership like Ryanair, cost focus, one area or one function within a company that can be cost focus, differentiation, sorry, I spell differentiation, uh, can be differentiation focus, these can be R, our objective and uh, that can be our strategy towards to achieve the objective of the company. So for any of these strategies, we need to be make our plan for it. So plan is mean where we are and where we want to. So there are the three brand strategy commonly used among the largest firm deciding which product will contribute the brand names are the multiple product branding and multiple branding and the private branding. So first we look in the multiple product brand also known as a family brand or the corporate brand when company use one brand names for all its product branding is the company use one brand names for all its products within the class. For example, brand name of Sony is used on the most if not all of their products. Sony is the company of the parent brand name, but you will also see the television of Sony, Sony PlayStation series, the benefit of multiple brand equity return. Equity means how much shares you have and the return you what you getting, if you have a million pound worth of the shares, what actually you getting, is the brand value is increasing or not? lower promotional cost and growing brand awareness. So you just advertising Sony's, under Sony, their multiple brands. So these are the benefit come about through the existing use of the brand name over the wide array 
of the product offering. The idea is take the brand name, which is establish itself, product class, and apply the brand name for another product, another product class, and expecting the brand awareness carry over. However, there is also negative effect. If one brand is not offered, it can be effect on the other subclass, even that brand is quite good. So downside of the multiple brand, when the company spread their brand thin, the result after weaker brand image. The more brand equity, the negative effect, you know, multiple brand, the company sub branding. Sub branding allow company the big brand names while they're giving each product little brand its own. So Juliet marks three raises for men. Juliet brand brand is clearly marked for the package first. So the customer associated to mark with the Juliet quality. So Julian Mar 3 sub brand differentiates from its Okay, then uh, that's that's the example. Multiple brand is also use the product line and the target different market in different market and different brand. The chivalet, you know, the car and different cars and each, you know, the brand names is like Spark or the Camryo and these cars, you know, both under the patent, uh, parent, you know, the brand. And Spark is the small economic choice of the car where other is the big, you know. So that's, you know, the point A to B supported the performance style, external opportunity, and we can segment it accordingly. So that's, you know, multiple brand. So the image of the showcase, FedEx, different service offering, the various delivery methods, self customer with different needs and different markets, segment, freight shipping may be only required, the business ordering overseas. Meanwhile, the FedEx, Ground shipping may be used, the ship product, the consumer who purchase the product from online. So FedEx Corporation, FedEx Services, FedEx Express, FedEx Ground, FedEx Freight, FedEx, you know. So these are all the multiple brands of the FedEx. Okay. Then the private branding. Is the production of the goods by manufacturer for a reseller a prime example of the private brand, store brand good? Some retailers store you the private branding to undercut the competition in given market. If the Colgate toothpaste is cost about $6 for a top and the Walmart can make privately branded toothpaste, sell $3 or the $4. It's most cases, the private branding are considered to be lesser quality, but some cases, this can be retailed again. Customer loyalty, if you are the manufacturer, it is important to understand that you can't allow your business to be dependable in your single account. That's, you know, we need to be look around. Here are the four common brand growth strategies for the business looking extended their services and the product offering. The four brand strategies in line extension, brand extension, new brand strategy, and the flanker are the fly, fight brand strategy. So line extension brand strategy, which can be used. Okay, the line extension brand strategy involves the creating additional product and meeting the needs of the customer. Like iPhone Plus was the bone to satisfy the consumer with the bigger screen and now they can iPhone the way suits them best. You know, the growth strategies benefit customer who had considered the Apple competitors and instead of, you know, the potential customer perform profitably to serve them. So brand extension involves the Introduction of the new brand in the new market after consulting the brand name is related to like, you know, Chrysler and uh, since, you know, done well satisfying the market to candy, snacks, perhaps, you know, Chrysler guides and might be reached to the new market. So another Starbucks introduced their K-Cup for the coffee and the drinks, you know, that's we need to be look around. That is quite, you know, the 
productive as you know that's quite quite you know the productive we need to be look around so these are the guys just think about any other brand huh? Okay, so another sub. So we just you know we can look around the uh, the line and extension of the new brand, new market. Okay, thus we can look around different examples. So new brand strategy when the firm create a new brand go along with the new product. The new brand um, strategy is the most since the starting the new brand include the cost such as advertising, sale, promotion. Particularly, is created the different snacks under the different brand names, Dorito and Cheetos. These are all, you know, along the brands and the growth strategy. So that's we need to be look around. That's main purpose to be capture more market set. Then it's Clark Flanger brand strategy. In this, the placement of the new brand or the sub brand at the higher or the lower end of the sub. sub is, you know the different class of the customer spectrum so that's we need to be look at the market segment so phone x8 and iphone x and 10 years and the 50 years, you will see there how they capture the launch of and different are the eight at the price point at the above the eight so these you know we can look around and that's you know help you know to be made the most of the customer need Okay, these are the examples. Okay, next we're looking fighter brand strategy. So occur when the firms create the new brand, rest market share from another, usually fighter brand doesn't created the target consumer. Instead, they are cre created target competitors. For example, was the grassroots soft drink owned by the Dr. Pepper and then introduced in 1938 without the competition. Soon Coca-Cola saw an opportunity to compete with the new fruit drink. Yes, so they so they launched the, the new fruit drink. Yes, yeah. So and the Coca decided to create you know, Citra. So that you will see there is a the difference. So if you enjoy the talk, uh, have a question, let comments, you know, we can look around and discussing more about the business and the brand strategy. So which we can argue and we can discuss if anybody any questions. OK, so that's we can discuss in 4.1. 4.2 is about the brand in a life, the human resource. Human resource is very important. We discuss about the marketing mix. We all know marketing mix. So marketing mix and comes at for these product price promotion place and now seven P's for the three P's there is we're looking the people we're looking the processes and we're looking physical evidence so where the locations and So human resource management is quite, you know, the strategy, the direction, scope, and long-term the devoted to the organization, the configuration of the resources with the environment, meeting the stakeholder needs, you know, so existing staffing resources, the number of staff functions. So that's, you know, the new staff is required, what type of skills and ability required to be achieved. So the, if you want to be launched a new brand, so you have an idea to launch, but you need a new staffing for it. So you need to be think about the what sort of the skills will be required. Otherwise, are the existing staff can be used toward the new staff, you know, so we can what are the moral of what is the culture of organization, what capacity level we are using, all these questions we have to ask, you know. So changing the resources 
uh, what changes to the organization of the business are indicated the strategy change of location, new location, new product. So is incremental human resource are required? Should they are source alternative to employment, also joint venture, customer relation, distribution check, the segment value proposition. So you have to pass that and the revenue These are the questions we have to ask, you know, to be meet the needs and the wants of the customer, the brand, you know, which we are going to be launch. So next we have Amazon is following the position themselves back in 2000. Some worldwide web, you know, they enjoy books day day. Then car.
Okay, so these are uh, different brands and uh, their slogans towards, you know, new brands. That's, you know, we need to be look around. They achieve different objectives. These are the fifth companies and how they act themselves. Think strategy is very important where you want to see in the positioning map, you know, so you have to be build the strategy towards position your brand in the market. So positioning map can use so always response toward the position, you know, responding why my position of the brand is down in the market. So we have to look around the external environment. So you have to, we have to do regular pastel analysis to look around political, economic, social, because these also impact our brand. I was like, you know, the sugar tax is going to be sugar levels, our ethical product. So positioning your brand in the customer mind, you know, that is very crucial. We need to be interact with the customer. How can, you know, fluid communicate with the brand desired position? That's all we need to be look around to achieve our uh, marketing. Then we have a 4.4 outcome of range of. So if you have a brand, then you'd want to be look around because you have invested money in the brand. You want to look around the performance so performance in terms of time cost and quality how quick you know the brand and other we can look around is the the brand is a star is a cash cow is a problem child so we can use the bcg metric which is called product portfolio metric so that can be used you know to look around and measure the performance and we can evaluate you know each of different brands and different performance so different effect of the knowing the brand names on the customer brand equity and negative you know Take around the differentiation, relevance, knowledge, theme that brand bring towards the customer, which we discussed in the lesson one, as well quite similar discussion was. So that's here we looking more evaluation, gestation, brand positioning attribute, benefit and beliefs of customer brand names. You know, they known sponsorship, brand development. We we for the uh, brand selection market should establish the mission and the V in the brand when the position is. The desired quality of the brand name should be based on the product benefits and the qualities and easy easy to pronounce and recognize. That's, you know, because the brand should be set in the mind of the customer. Otherwise, you're spending money and building brand. So national brand can be store brand, licensing brand, and co-brand. That's we can look around as we discuss in 4.1 land extension strategy can be multiple brand brand extension or new brand that can be our strategies towards you know that we can look around and we can manage you know the new brand and the brand return of it each brand we can look around the performance of metric so when you look the managing brand and their performance communicate the brand positioning to your stakeholders manage all the brand touch points and training you know implies to be the customer centered and order the brand strength and weakness with each brand what their strength how they will appeal to the customer like you know think about as does own brand as does best in as does premium as does different brands so we are not upper class lower class middle class and position ourselves you know in the uh, in the customer eyes you know different brand in different here is some example of the brand as intangible. Intangible don't have physical substance, but that can bring a huge benefit to organization. That's we need to be look around. Okay, so guys, this is the evidence of the brand and the brand value. Uh, so you think, uh, here you can see the Coca-Cola is the largest. Microsoft, IBM, General Electric, Nokia, of course, is Design afterward because that's these slides is slightly older, so we can look around with the passage further. We can do research and find the position okay. here is you can watch the brand positioning management, how we can and the performance. We can look around and meant we have a book, you know, this is a book which is written by Kotler. Kotler, uh, okay, so this is book. I hope so you can see all. So what we need to do, we need to look around our area which we're looking learning outcome four and learning outcome four. We more about the uh, 
multiple brands, brand strategies, and brand as we need to be look around. So here we're looking the brand evaluation, which is performance of the brand. That's the page number from five zero one. Please, you know, make sure before next lesson, if you can read, will be uh, will be good. And uh, handling the change the brand and brand name. This is mention you and we discuss about brand architect. You know how we can and how we can group and sub brand. So that's you know, is our is quite good to be look around the brand architect. And a three uh, three hundred and forty seven page number and people brand you know three three hundred and ninety one three nine one page number. So please, if you read all these you know pages and look around the key and there are a lot of case studies. So if you type here control F and type three nine one one. So let's you know so sorry. Type here three three nine one page number. Now you can. This is three seven four because uh, book page number can be. So what you can do, you scroll down slightly, so you will find here. There are a lot of case studies and case studies which we can embed in our writing as well. And a three nine three we said three nine three. You will see inherit portfolio single multi-brands, what it is, and the good and uh, multiple brands, how we can segment brands, different basis of brand segmentations, and different cycle and the global portfolio brand strategy. So it's quite good to know that will help us to be further enhanced our understanding please if you do you know, and if we can so we will be fourth edition okay so that's all today and if anybody any questions see if you can email on my address on at up.co.uk and the uh, next lesson will be about assignment discussion and the uh, oil recording will be available on Moodle. thanks for listening so I'll speak to you all during our next lesson. Thank you. Bye-bye.